Hi friends, uh, this is part two of uh, how to align text strings. So in the previous tutorial, uh, you saw me how uh, you saw me, you saw how to um, align text to the left or the right side of the uh, screen, and or how to justify it in the center. So we did it using the R just, L just, and center methods. Uh, but this time I'm going to be teaching you uh, to use the format. So you can do it by, let's say this time, uh, we have this text that holds a hello world. This time let's use format. So you're saying format, and this time you're saying use the text variable which holds hello world. And we are saying, let's say, we, let's make it 16. So this time what it does is that it brings hello world to the right side and it puts in some cut sorry let me one two three four one two three four five so it puts five empty spaces on the left side and brings hello world so hello is five world is five there is a space total of 11 and it puts another five for a total of 16 we can do the same if we use this character what this time it does is that it puts five empty spaces to the right side of it but let's say we want to align it sorry we put it in the center so in order to put it in the center we do this we use the carrot symbol and use 21 so that five of them spaces will be on the left side and another five would be on the right side so let's press center this time we can see that there's five spaces in here and another five spaces in here so Let's say this time we want to put something um, like uh, the previous one I showed you guys how to put empty spaces but in this one uh, let's say we want to put something like uh, percentage sign so this time what it does is that it puts in the five percentage signs instead of five empty spaces so in here we saw that it put five empty spaces now we can do the same for this as well this time it put five uh, percentage signs on the right side and if we put in let's say dollar sign carrot and 21 what it does is it puts five dollar characters on the left side and then another five dollar characters on the right side so this is how you can align text to the uh, left side or right side another benefit or one benefit sorry of using format is that uh, you can work on integers as well it's not it doesn't work only with um, strings so if you have a variable like x is equal to uh, 3.1416 3.1416 and if you see x it uh, we can see that uh, it shows us the value you can see that it's a float it isn't a string it's the type of text was stir for a string however x is a float so let's say we want to move this um, x we want to have a let's use format let's say, say we want to bring it you want to put in some uh, you let's say use the x variable which holds the string sorry which holds the numbers and uh, we want to have uh, we want to have uh, and this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want to have five spaces on the left side. So what we do is uh, we put in the greater than symbol and then eleven. So what it does is puts five empty spaces in front of it. We can also do five on the any number of spaces on the right side, or you can justify it to the center or put it in the center, as I showed in the previous examples. Another good thing about this is that you can also truncate it, truncate the uh, string. So in here, let's say that we are saying um, use this. So it puts it in the center and let's say we just want to have two decimal points. So in here it says one, four, one, six, but we only want to have one, four. So in order to do that, what is you're doing is saying you're saying two F so what it does is that in here you can see that it only uses two characters after the decimal point not one six only one four 
so there are lots of other variations that you can use with this so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions feel free to put it in the comment section below and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one